Hello everyone and welcome to another video for Detroit Become Human. I'm really excited to show you guys this video because, in my opinion, this is the hardest ending combination to get in the entire game. Based on all the hours I've put into the game and everything that I've been able to pull together, I think this is the most complicated. So, what we do here ultimately results in Connor being leader of the Deviants in a way, and Hank not showing up at all at Cyberlife Tower. So in order to go ahead and get this, let me explain it real quick and then I'll show you what it looks like. So first what you have to do is you have to get Marcus kicked out of Jericho. I did a whole video on that, you guys can see it on the channel. I'm not going to explain all the ins and outs of that, but you got to get Marcus kicked out of Jericho so that North takes over the revolution. Then what you have to do is you also have to make it so Connor becomes a deviant while also having Hank be hostile with Connor. So that results in a Hank suicide scene. And then since Marcus is kicked out of Jericho and Connor is a deviant, Connor and North meet up together and they're kind of the ones leading the charge for Jericho and the revolution, which is really cool. So you'll see a bunch of scenes where you Marcus should have been, but then Connor takes over, be it at the church or be it at the ship when he gets attacked. And then also, when we are at the Cyberlife Tower, since Hank is already dead, we don't get to see Hank at all. It's like it doesn't even exist. It never happens. So it's all pretty cool. And again, it's really complicated, in my opinion, to get. It's the hardest one to get. In terms of making Hank hostile and Connor be deviant, it's a balancing game. You have to make sure that you are making Hank angry while also making Connor deviant. And angry Hank and machine Connor are kind of tied at the hip as our happy Hank and Deviant Connor, so you have to make them part different ways by making decisions at certain points in the game. So, without further introduction, I'm really, really, really excited to show you guys what I feel is the hardest ending to get, or at least the hardest ending combination to get into the game, which is a combination of Marcus not being around, Hank not being around, and then Connor taking over the role as leader for Jericho. <laughs> I'm so hoping we got it, man! <laughs> <laughs> I've been ordered to take you alive. Take me alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. All right, so you You're one of us. You can mess this up. So watch you me not mess it up. Betray your own kind. So, these two don't matter. So whatever. Say what you want. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? Right. I've heard about you. Yeah, you have. The famous deviant hunter. That's me. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You seem to have found what you're looking is for. Is that true? I don't know yet. So, say nothing is the best option here, because the other three make your deviancy go down. You're not one of them. Oh, God. I'm so nervous. <laughs> we are your people. Please give this We're to me. We're fighting for your freedom. Uh, so disturbed is a good one to say here. Shut up. Please be enough. Oh my god. You're coming with me. Ha! You never had any doubts. Never behaved irrationally as if there's something inside you. Something stronger than your program. Alright, disturbed. Again. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not this is deviant. It. That's all right. That's, That's all I, I can do. If we don't get it here, we're not getting it. You're one of us. Join our cause. Join your people. It's time to decide. Yes! 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 Ah! Cool, we got it. Oh, we did it. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're deviant. You're so deviant right now, Connor. They're going to attack Jericho. What? I need you guys in the chat right now to say I am deviant. Yes! We have to get out of here. Shit. But now Marcus isn't here. What's going to happen? Marcus is ain't going to show up. All right, so the way to completely mess all this up <laughs> is if I let Marcus come back. But, pff, nah, you ain't coming back, man. So save yourself. Perfect. Dude, I'm so, like, this is so cool now. There's like, I have no idea what this is gonna look like. I'm so cool <laughs> about this. So can we still save Josh with Connor? They're coming from everywhere. Our people are trapped in the lower deck. Oh. They're gonna be slaughtered. Whoa. There are explosives in the hole. Wait. If the ship goes down, the humans will have to evacuate. Our people can escape. There are soldiers everywhere. You'll never make it down. We have to blow up Jericho. It's our only chance. Josh is here? I'll go. Well, Connor, no. See if you can help the others. I'm going to find the detonator. Don't worry. This is so... I always accomplish my mission. <laughs> yeah, you do! <laughs> I'm so ready right now! Oh, this is so cool. I'm so happy we got this. Okay, so... You've chosen your side. Yeah, I did. But it's too late. Run. Get out of here. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. So, we're just not gonna be able to see- Uh-oh, later. Dude! Don't let it get out. So, oh, he doesn't pretend to be a, be the Perkins dude this time. He's just like, whatever. I'm not even going to play at your charades anymore. But I'm going to, I'm going to guess there's no Josh saving. Kind of wish I had Kara alive right now. Not going to lie. Oops. All right. Um... So we're just kind of running through this the same way that Marcus does, right? <laughs> Except it's Connor, baby! Here to accomplish some missions! Oh, God, they changed it! He saved us. Quick, run! <laughs> Dude, I'm so all about this right now. Gamma squad out. Turn go. Since Connor's such a freaking badass, we're gonna jump off that guy's shield. Oh. Bangers! Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's go over here. Look out. So you do like all the same things as Connor, which is really interesting. I wonder if anybody's gonna try to stop me once I reach the bottom, because usually Connor would try to stop you in that situation, right? Maybe not. I don't know. It really depends if he was a machine. Ah. We need a good bonk noise when that happens. Go. Join the <laughs> Connor become leader, right? Oh my god. So, do, do you th do you think that there's no way Connor could do dialogue? Can he? Josh, what happened to you? Huh? You just die anyway? Oh. So, why? This is the end <laughs> did, of Jericho. Why did you, oh. Okay. Well, I guess you suck. I didn't even get a chance to save him. He's just dead. God dang it, Josh. Well, now I'm just mad. <laughs> Do it up. Go, move. Go and join the others. 
way he walks up like such a freaking creep. He's like, you don't even know how bad you're gonna die right now. Gotta make sure I get all these. R2, more like R89! Oh wow, he's crazy. Push that button. <laughs> Connor! That bomb's gonna explode. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. Fine. Oh my god, could North not make it out of this and North dies and then Connor freaking is the elevator by himself? That'd be really interesting. Dude, why are you walking like such an old man right now, Connor? I've seen you run. There you go. <laughs> so she doesn't trip. She just goes. They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. This isn't over. This. Do you think this could also work if? No, I don't know if this would work if. Marcus died at the march. Because I don't know that you would even have some of these same scenes. I'm not sure. Connor escaped with the Jericho people. <laughs> I bet you that's a good old 0%. Okay, so Marcus left Jericho as a 0% and leave forever. Yeah, we've seen that before. But I gotta see Connor's flowchart now. <coughs> okay, let's get into the real deets here. Back in the captain's cabin with North, which is like almost zero anyway, and then become deviant. Become deviant, 78%. Okay, so I highly doubt that that 78% is the 78% that's attached to this one. It's probably the 78% attached to this one. So, go all the way down into these little pathways. Deviant Connor in the corridor. Oh my god, 2% of people got this? <gasps> Join the deviants, meet Lucy. Wow, people must have been gunning for this. I'm really surprised. Jump soldiers, enter a well. Yeah, wow. In the hold with Deviant Connor. I'm really surprised this many people got this. Is this going to be the Hank suicide with Deviant Connor? Or we're going to try to save Hank here. That's going to be my goal. I don't think I can, honestly. I think it's too late. But we did this with Machine Connor last time. This is why I haven't gotten the Hank suicide video out. Because there's three suicides for Hank. And this one's the hardest one to get. Can I pet you? Oh, baby. Oh, you to go <laughs> okay, let's go talk to him. Ah. Uh, hey, don't. What kind of bark was that? God. Reconcile? I needed to see you, Lieutenant. In spite of all of our differences, I'm glad I had the chance to meet you. I was worried about you, Lieutenant. I came by to see if you're all right. <laughs> you should stop looking at that photo, Lieutenant. Nothing can change the past. That doesn't help anything. But you can learn to live again. For yourself. Oh, whoa, that's different, isn't it? And for Cole. You know, every time you died and came back, <laughs> made me think of Cole. Give anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. It's different, I don't know. Let's try convincing. I mean, if I don't insist, I don't think that's going to help, right? Hank, I... Now leave me alone. No, no, no. Go on, complete your mission, since that's all you care about. I'm deviant now, come on. You're not gonna talk about that? Get out of here! For real? Is he honestly not gonna talk about that? No way. <sighs> this 
This will be really interesting with Connor in here now. Because she's not going to stand up in speech right away, is she? Or is Connor the one sitting in the... Really? Can I do dialogue with Connor? Can Connor sing? <laughs> That'd be cool. So, on goes this chapter without Marcus, huh? Really wish I still had Kara. I'm kind of regretting killing her off, but it'll be fine. <coughs> so, what can I do? Who can I talk to? Your people? What? what? Well, I mean, Josh dies no matter what. I had to have Simon dead to get to this point, so it's just going to be North, right? It would have been North and Kara. So, let's just go talk to North here. And if we can totally handbang North, we're doing it. survived the attack a few hundred maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city we'd all be dead if you hadn't detonated that bomb the humans won't take any risks they're rounding up the androids and taking them to camps for extermination in a couple hours we'll be the only ones left where are we supposed to go from here? I don't know. What are we what are we doing? I, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I'm s there are thousands of androids at the Cyber Life Assembly plant. Okay. <clears throat> if we could wake them up, they might join us. And shift the balance of power. You wanna infiltrate the Cyber Life Tower? They trust me. They'll let me in. Connor, that's suicide. If anyone stands a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they'll kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Why did that feel like a pickup line all of a sudden? No? Oh. So do we just go- Is this what it turns into? The revolution with North and then Connor comes and saves the day? Is- Marcus is no longer with us. He failed us as a leader and chose to walk away. <clears throat> now it is up to us to finish what he started. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are in camps right now, being destroyed. The time has come for us to make a choice. One that may decide the future of our people. What's really interesting is Hank's dead, but he's going to Cyberlife Tower. They wanted a war, they'll get it. Oh god, I could have added that to my Cyberlife Tower video, we apparently. We are going to fight for our freedom. And we will win, or we will die for you. No idea how this is going to turn out. Completely. Completely in the dark right here, and I'm so happy about that. So North decides to attack the camp, huh? Knight of the Soul, Connor. Hank with the Force. So I'm going to guess that these options right here are if Kara was alive. Maybe one of them, Simon. Maybe you can have Simon be alive here. Either way. I'm going to guess that these are all, you know, people that could be alive. And I didn't have them alive. No big deal. So we still... <laughs> What's going to happen here with Hank being dead? <laughs> I don't know! Does he just go down there and turn him on? No big deal. Connor model 313. 248317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. I have no clue. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm not really reading chat right now either because I don't want you guys to tell me. <laughs>
Maybe like a Dementor will come. Dementor Hank. It's the big old Connor Bonner in the sky! Strong, meaty, girthy Bonner. Yeah, this is gonna go down. Follow me. <laughs> I'm so excited. Right you. Oh Thanks. <laughs> but I know where to go. <laughs> Maybe. <Excited. laughs> but I have my orders. So this to this whole scene is gonna be way different. Man, I totally could go back and like fix my freaking Cyberlife Tower video. I didn't even know this existed when I made that video. Agent twenty. So we're in the Connor Bonner in the sky. Yeah, if you guys are wondering about the code on Connor here, it has something to do with the actor's birthday and like the area code of Detroit and something else. Can't remember what the third thing is, but there's like three sets of numbers that make up a Connor. So is this still all going to be the same? Probably. Level thirty-one. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Part of me feels like Agent Fifty Four and Captain Allen are the same voice actor. Could be wrong. So let's turn this off because I don't feel like dealing with that quick time event. So let's whoop some booty! Alright, so pretty construct. And I think I go after you first? Can't remember. And then I kick you. And then I kick you. Yeah, there's the kick. And then I kick you, thank you. There we go. Alright, Psycho Connor, let's do it. style he has to bring into it. Spin around to do it above his head. What a show off. <laughs> Alright, so let's go here. Please indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. I don't know, man. I'm assuming this is still gonna be like the other Connor showing up, right? But like I don't, I don't know. Alright, here comes North. Today, November 11th, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We have been fighting to liberate our fellow androids from the camp since dawn. So this just isn't gonna go well, right? We won't cease hostilities until our people are free, and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. But this make- This is the one way to make the North Revolution successful, right? I mean, she's still gonna suck, I'm guessing, but... Connor's gonna come and save the day for North. I don't know if she'll be dead by the time he does it. Nobody knows yet. I'm sure somebody on YouTube knows. <coughs> Alright, so, we're at floor 49, and Hank is not alive, so... Show me the brand new car here, man. What if he's like, pull somebody else out? <laughs> That's not Hank, but I have something else you care about. I'm just like, Kamsky. <laughs> That'd be funny.
can't go back. It's victory or death now. Interesting. That's going better than it usually Why, does. Connor? Why did you have to wake up when all you had to do was obey? Why did you choose freedom when you could live without asking questions? He'll shoot me again if I do any of that. Oh, I guess he does it anyway. <laughs> I'm obedient, Connor. I have a goal. I know what I am. Ah! He's gonna keep doing that. Look where your dreams of freedom got you, Connor. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. You've been a great disappointment to me. Okay, so this whole spiel again. Fortunately, that's all going to end now. Any last words? What can I do? So, I can transfer, I can shoot, I can stand up. Okay, so none of those seem like great options except maybe transfer. Ah, <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> You're me now. Well done, Connor. With this, this is just the beginning. No, Hank. <laughs> and that's, and that's, 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 what if there's just like a never ending loop where like another machine kind of comes out and shoots this one? They're just stuck in purgatory, just constantly shooting each other back and forth and transferring. <laughs> Wake up! Chat, wake up. I need you to say wake up in the chat. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Maybe she dies here. gonna get shot. <laughs> yep, called that. <laughs> that sucks! So they just go down this same path anyway? And we're receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. Man! <laughs> They're absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. From what we can gather, these androids <laughs> are coming from the Cyberlife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038. Dang it, man! Several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced I was hoping there'd be something really cool there, unique to Marcus and North. Casualties. Or not Marcus, I um... Had no choice what do you call it? Connor and North. armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality. The emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. May God bless the United States of America. So it's just this again? Oh, it's such a buzzkill. Humans are abandoning the camp. We won. <laughs> you should speak to them. Where'd your tie go? Me? Marcus is gone, and everyone from Jericho is dead. You're the one who defeated the humans. 
You're the one who awakened us, Connor. I'm so bummed about this. Oh, I was so hoping North was going to be alive. And then it's just this again, huh? Well, crap. Well done, Connor. Everything went according to plan. What plan? You becoming deviant? The success of the uprising? It all surpassed our expectations. I mean, maybe Marcus is like lurking or something. I don't know. Android revolution. <laughs> and now we control its only leader. Congratulations. You represent an immense success for Cyberlife. All worked perfectly. You can't ruin it all now. Sorry, Connor, but we can't let you do that. This got to be a way. They missed out on a huge opportunity right there to have like a super complicated secret ending there. Just to plop it down back into this thing. The <laughs> Maybe there's still something with Marcus I don't know about. I don't know. We'll see. So let's talk about a few things here. I do think that this is a really, really cool sequence of events in Detroit Become Human, and I do feel like it's the hardest thing that you can do in the game because so many of the decisions in the game are you go all one way and then you get an ending, or you don't do anything and you get an ending. With this, this is one of the few that you really have to like teeter on a line to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. And I do wish that they did something a little more unique than North being dead and Connor taking over all the deviants with his army, they they show that in a bunch of different endings. But the sequence to getting there was very different. So if you're curious about what I did specifically on how to make Hank hostile and Connor deviant, every opportunity I had with the little choices, I tried to make Connor deviant, so I would always make it so that Connor was troubled or something like that. And then with Hank, I always tried to take the opportunities to go ahead and make it so Hank would be upset with Connor. So you would ask him about his personal life a little too much, or you try to be helping him fix his problems, that type of stuff. That's the type of stuff that Hank doesn't like. I also went ahead and had Connor die at the interrogation, uh, the chase with Rupert. I had Hank kill him at the bridge because I shot the Tracys. And then I think that's the main things I did in terms of Connor dying. And then other things I did to make it so that Connor got more messed up was I made sure Simon stays alive on the Stratford Tower. That way Simon and Connor could have a moment where Connor feels Simon die because that messes up Connor a lot. And then I also spared Chloe when we did the Kamsky test. All of those combined along with all the little choices I made are ultimately what made this possible. Now there is one more video I want to try and it's going to be Connor becomes leader of Jericho, but... Connor fails at the Cyberlife Tower, which means there's no leaders left for all these androids that just got converted. Not sure if it's a thing, we're gonna test it out though. But if you guys wanna see some more of these Detroit videos or you have different ideas for things that I could do, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I do live stream just about every single day at around 10 p.m. Eastern-ish, so I might be changing that time soon, but we usually stream just about every single day. So make sure you're following on the channel or following on Twitch or following on Mixer. I have all those links in the description. Really easy to go ahead, right click and follow, and then you're hooked up. So. If you guys enjoyed this, please let me know. Leave a like. It took a lot of thinking on how to make this work. A lot of replaying of things. It takes a lot of time. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Hold on to
Just a little while longer Hold on Just a little while longer